Hey guys, thanks for clicking in. One of the things that I work a lot with my youth pitchers is trying to get their arm slot up because their elbow happens to fall before, below their shoulder. Well, the best way that we do that is we work on what's called contralateral tilt. Contralateral tilt is a fancy name for, as I'm pulling in my glove, I want to lean down toward my glove side. I want to feel this. <clears throat> what a lot of younger kids will do is they'll pull out. They'll hit, stop, chest doesn't go forward, pulls out like this. So you gotta show them what this front side does because whatever the front side does, the back side is going to dictate. So I happen to be in my garage, implement, came across a pull stick right here, put one hand on one end, one on the other, have them line up, let them know, come to the top of your leg lift, drive down the mound, stick it. This is where we work in what I call the power position or the end of the stride. So most kids are used to doing this, pull stick, come straight out, look how my shoulders are level. But if I come here and I pull that front shoulder down and away, then you're going to watch the back arm start to pick up. And that's exactly what we want them to feel. Hey, if you don't have a pull stick, there's a couple other ways you can work it with your kids. Let them know the pec, the pec, the pectoral muscle, your chest muscle, right behind the shield is that has to go to the target. It's got to come down into the target. If they're not getting that, then the last one that I know of, if you guys know any more, send them to me. The front elbow to help with contralateral tilt. Once they land, they have their shield or their spear, depending what they do, but let's just say shield so we can see it better on the camera. This front elbow comes down, not out. You're gonna see a lot of them pulling out, whether because they're in an ipsilateral tilt and they're pulling up the lean out, or they're just not getting enough power in the stride and they have to overcompensate and they go to the top first. But when we go up to the top, we want the top to come down, not out. So hopefully you have a better understanding of contralateral tilt and how it puts your arm in a better leverage position and a more powerful position up above our shoulder. So thanks a lot for tuning in and nuke out.